Hi, Rob McDonald here, Vice President of Product Marketing at One Cosmos, and welcome to our vlog. Uh, today, I've got Hazefa with us, our co-founder and COO. How are you doing today, Hazefa? Very good, Robert. Very good to see you. It's been a while. It has been a while. Um, I guess the unfortunate thing of working remotely, we don't get to see each other more often, but uh, welcome. Uh, today, we want to talk a little bit about um, one of our latest announcements. So uh, we just announced a new certification by the Kintera Initiative, um, and it's for the uh, UK Digital Identity and Attributes uh, Trust frame Framework. So for those of you that know the acronym, that's uh, UK DIATF. Uh, I know you had a lot to do with that. So why don't you tell me a little bit about what that framework, uh, the UK uh, Digital Identity and Attributes Trust Framework is all about? No, absolutely. Um, so the UK Digital Identity Attribute Trust Framework came into existence a few years back. And um, it was a standard that has been designed by the UK government, um, primarily designed not, just not for corporations, but for regular citizens, where anytime, if you want to hire somebody, if you're renting an individual or any kind of a background service they're providing, which requires a user to be approved, how do you do it based on standards? Okay. Right. And this is uh, a very, very good, um, this is a very good development in general, because Traditionally, we've all been used to the NIST standard here in the United States. I know it's been, you know, more widely being uh, adopted as well. Mm -hmm. Now, local governments are creating their own standard for identity proofing. Yeah. So we saw that. We said, uh, you know, our friends at Contara were the ones who were uh, reviewing and, and, and approving, you know, vendors who wanted to, you know, sign up for the standards. Yep. So... We went through that process and, uh, uh, you know, came through it. Awesome. So um, are there specific specifications that were certified to against that framework? Yes. So there are specifications around how you would proof an individual, right? What are the different levels that, uh, you know, would go with respect to it? Um, and we have uh, subscribed to uh, a level which will require a user to scan one of their digital documents, take a live selfie, um, and, you know, prove that, you know, uh, cryptographically that we have a secure credential for a specific user. Okay, cool. And, uh, yeah. and since yeah. UK, how do you yeah. make sure that you are uh, keeping the data very secure on our end as well? Right. Fair enough. Um, so what does that certification in general say about our platform? Um, well, this is something that we have, you know, looked at it just from the inception of the company. Uh, yeah don't just build technologies, but, uh, you know, do it based on standards as well. Yeah. Um, I believe our first certification that we uh, signed up for was for the NIST 863-3. We are very much into, you know, the weeds of the revision four, which is coming out too. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we saw the UK standard uh, uh, that was developed and then we signed up for it. And um, I don't want to you know, peel the curtain a lot, but uh, we are involved in, um, a lot of new standards that are coming across the globe as well, right? Um, so at One Cosmos, uh, we want to prove that uh, you know who the individual is behind the device. To do that, you have to effectively prove a user, right? And you have to do that based on standards as well. Fair enough. So yeah, you know, we continue to add a lot of certifications to our list. We've got a, a whole web page dedicated to it on our website. Uh, you know, we've got corporate certifications like ISO and SOC two. We've got product certifications like NIST, uh, FIDO, and iBeta. What does this certification mean to us as a as an organization? Yeah, we love certifications. We have a lot of time to go through the certifications. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, no, I, I think these. Uh, I mean, that's important, right? It's important because um, you know. At different geographies, you want to make sure that those users understand that what we're providing, uh, right? That this particular technology has been vetted, vetted mm -hmm. by their local government based on their standards as well. Uh, so I, I think it's extremely important, uh, specifically in this case for the UK market, right? Mm -hmm. That uh, we are providing a digital identity platform that has been proved, verified, right? Um, and not just uh, a set of capabilities that are available for them to use. Fair enough. And, and, and that, that kind of leads into my next question. Um, you know, it's probably more, more important than the last, but you know, what, what do these certifications mean to our partners? Uh, what does it mean to our customers and even future partner partners and customers of, of, of one cosmos? 
Yeah. So anybody, um, so I'm talking specifically with respect to the UK certification that we have, right? Um, if you are an entity in UK, um, especially if you are in the public service area and, um, you know, if you have your citizens that need to be approved, uh, or even if you're in the private sector and you are looking to hire individuals mm -hmm. and you want to do that based on a company that is subscribing to these standards, a company that can prove those individual users and securely, you know, uh, you know, have them provide access to whatever service that they would like, mm -hmm. you can sign up with us. Right. Um, and what we would then allow to do is these individuals have been proved, have been verified based on this particular standard, this is, you know, a result of, you know, what the proofing is, we would then provide it to that particular service as well. Cool. So what is it about our platform that enables us to meet, you know, these seemingly, you know, pretty stringent guidelines, in your opinion? I would say that, uh, you know, our platform has been very, very modular, right? Uh, so, you know, anybody who's new to this particular podcast, uh, we provide a set of different capabilities, identity proofing, um, using that particular identity to give secure access to a variety of different systems by using a user's biometrics. Mm -hmm. And the third aspect of it is to create a digital identity wallet, which will allow a user to be in control of their identity and share their attributes to whatever service that they would like. What this has allowed us to do is that every specific capability Right, uh, we have it. Uh, we have pretty modular uh, where, if there are certain standards, if there are certain capabilities that we need to prescribe to, we are fairly. It's fairly easy for us, right, to you know make that available as well. Cool. Um, okay, so you know that's. Th thank you for all that, by the way. Uh, what's next for One Cosmos? I mean, like like I said earlier, we, you know, we kind of touched on it briefly some of the other certifications we have, but you know, what's uh, what's next in line for us? more certifications. <laughs> <laughs> Continue to update the web website, Rob. Okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. certifications that we need to add. But we are going through FedRAM right now. Um, you know, uh, hopefully we'll go through that process fairly soon. Mm -hmm. um, I alluded to this earlier, but uh, there are, you know, more government based standards that are coming up uh, and we are looking to prescribe to that. We're looking to get certified against them as well. Okay. Um, not just in US and North America or in UK, but you know, we're talking about Asia, um, you know, uh, and other parts of Europe as well. So just stay tuned, right? Uh, these are developments that are happening, right? And we're we'll looking forward to announce them soon. Awesome. Uh, listen, Hazefa, thank you for taking the time to talk to us about the certification today. Uh, this is pretty awesome news. Uh, and I look forward to talking to you about the next one. Wonderful. Good, uh, good catching up with you as well, Rob. Thanks. <laughs> talk again. <laughs>